Fala galera, bem-vindos a mais um vídeo. Esse vídeo aqui é um complemento ao vídeo que sua mãe te vendeu para a escravidão. E eu queria agradecer ao nosso inscrito aqui, o Suami Devesh, que deu a sugestão desse vídeo aqui. Eu não tinha visto esse vídeo e achei legal compartilhar com vocês. Mas antes, se você não é inscrito no canal, se inscreva e ative o sino para não perder os próximos vídeos. E se gostar do conteúdo, deixe o seu like, por favor, que ele ajuda no engajamento do canal e alcança mais pessoas aqui no YouTube. Now this is something I want you to understand, and you need to listen carefully because this is profoundly important. Most people have never heard this and, I, and, and don't even understand what I'm trying to say. Then try and follow what I'm going to tell you. There are two kinds of law on the earth, as I've said. One is called civil law, which is the law of the land, and one is called maritime admiralty, which is called the law of water. Uh, maritime Admiralty is banking law. And the law on the Maritime Admiralty says that you, because you came out of your mother's water, are a Maritime Admiralty product. This is why the ship is sitting in its berth and is tied to the dock and the captain has to give a certificate of manifest to the port authorities because money is changing hands. This is why when you were born, you have to have a birth certificate. It's got to be signed by the dock, because that's where the ship is tied to, is the dock. So the dock signs your birth certificate. Why? Because you came down out of your mother's water. You came down her birth canal. You are a maritime admiralty product. And therefore, your birth certificate is signed by your mother. And where your mother signed on the birth certificate, get it, you will see, it does not say parent or mother, it says informant. Your mother was informing the, the, the bank that she has just produced another product to be bought and sold. England. The British Crown, through international banking, owns your physical body. And that's the law. But you can think it's funny all you want. So the bottom line is, is that you are a maritime admiralty product. And therefore, the banks own your body. And on the back of the Social Security card will be numbers in red. On the front will be in blue or black, but on the back will be in red. The numbers on the back of a Social Security card, in red, designate your body. It is the serial number of your stock. And this is why if you're wealthy, you are, you are preferred stock. If you're poor, you are common stock. But you are a stock on the stock market. Your body is bought and sold through the use of your birth certificate. And if you could get your original birth certificate back, you would find that on the back of the birth certificate are all the banks around the world. All over the world, banks have used your birth certificate because you are a stock and a maritime admiralty banking scheme where you make money for banks. So consequently, the corporation and government and people who want to control you They create a second you, and that second you that they control, that they created, is all capital letters. Check it out. Anytime you get a bill, get a lawsuit, you get a fine, a ticket, somebody sends you a bill from the Department of Water and Power, check it out on your driver's license, on your Social Security card, on your insurance cards, anything, period, anything having to do business, your name will always be in all capital letters, because only all capital letters can be dealt with by the government. Anytime you have a name upper or lower case, that, that applies to you. I got no control over you. You sign a contract in which your name is in all capital letters, now I can get a court. Now I can take you. As a matter of fact, you need to wake up and find out how this stuff really works. Because once you understand that you don't need to submit yourself as an American 
to a British commercial venture called courts. You're an American. You don't need to go to court. As somebody, you only go to court because you agreed to go to court. When they send you a subpoena to court or a summons to court, or they've sent you something, you look at it and say, hey, Jack, that's not me. That's an all capital letters. All capital letters is a corporation. It's a corpse. It's dead. Do I look like I'm dead to you? No, I'm an American, Jack. I ain't dead. And besides, I'll go to American system for justice. I don't need no British Grand Lodge Masonic system called courts. This British Grand Lodge for Masonic system called Inns of Court comes out of England. And it has manipulated, exploited, and lied to the people. And everybody in America thinks they got to go to court. Oh, the judge, is uh, they've sent me something that I've got to go to court. I don't go to anybody's court. I'm an American. I don't need to go to court. That's the difference between being a free man and a slave. Assim como muitos de vocês estavam perguntando se tem alguma saída desse sistema, eu vou deixar dois links aqui na descrição, é, mas eu confesso que eu não li todos os documentos ainda, até porque foi uma sugestão aqui do nosso amigo inscrito. Então, se você testou, se você já enviou esses documentos aí, deixa aí nos comentários que a gente quer saber também. Tem documentos originais em inglês e em português também, nos dois links. Então, vou deixar aqui na descrição para quem tiver curiosidade de ler e aprender mais a respeito. Então, esse foi o vídeo. Muito obrigado por assistir. Se você ainda não conhece nossa área de membros, Relógio do Criador Premium, vou deixar o link aqui na descrição também. Então, é isso. Muito obrigado e te vejo no próximo vídeo.